Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7 I form the light and create darkness I make peace and create evil I do love do all these things Shalom first and foremost I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Hashem Kadash double honors to the elders apostles great millstone Christian word truthfully and sincerely Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christian word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christian word, truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is another quick sit down lesson through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of your Hawaii Um, On this June the 14th, 2022, at 2.07 p.m. Central Standard Time. And the title of this quick sit down lesson is that I just brought out the scripture, you know. Uh, the Lord, he formed the light and he created darkness and he made peace and he created evil. And the Lord do all these things, you know. He does do all these things as we see it in the planet Earth right now. There's a lot of judgment been going on lately, you know. A lot of uh, cryptographic weathers. These uh, thunderstorms and these earthquakes in diverse places, the upworlds of the people, you know, isolated situations, uh, family situations, you know, relationship situations, and many others that the Heavenly Father is, is bringing judgment, you know. That's why He formed the light, He created darkness, and He created peace. You know, at times He created peace because Heavenly Father, He's a just balance, you know, He's a just power, you know. Yahweh thy power does all these things, you know. You know, that's why he created the peace. Yeah, he created darkness. He created evilness. And he, he, he the one that the forms of all these things that's doing these things on the planet Earth. Because the Heavenly Father, he's control of everything. He's the creator of everything. Anything that is existing, the Heavenly Father, he creates it. You know, he allowed these certain things to take place on the planet Earth. He allowed certain things times where uh, he ruled, he rules, he uh, let certain uh, nations and people to rule and then he bring them down, you know, because he's a just power, you know. He let, because uh, like scripture says, the Heavenly Father, he's slow to anger and once his anger come, it'd be justified because the Heavenly Father, he's a just power, he's a just balance as well too. That's why I brought out Isaiah 45 and 7. You know, he formed the light and he created darkness and he created peace. You know, the Lord, he does all these things, right? Because you're out about Shemel Shah, he does all these things, you know, on the planet Earth. Uh, this is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 6, a precept. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord have not done it, right? Because once the Lord blows the trumpet, he have his, uh, his servants, the true prophets out there, prophesying of these things that's going to happen, you know, because the men of the Lord, the true servants, the true prophets of Yahweh Hashem Shah, the ambassadors, the mouthpiece and representation of Yahweh Shah, you know, prophesy these things to happen. You know, the Heavenly Father sent mouthpieces and his men, his servants, the true prophets out there to prophesy these things. Like it says, like the Heavenly Father says, shall a shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not afraid you know because uh, people call them about their everyday life to not expect to see these things to happen it is gonna uh gonna happen it's gonna occur because the heavenly father he's the ones that does these things on the planet earth you know that like you said so that should that be trouble be in a city and not and people not be afraid you know because these things occur when they take on the planet Earth, you know. Not according to my understanding, it's according to the Holy Scriptures of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. You know, the Heavenly Father is only begotten Son, and through the Holy Scriptures, you know. That's why you see, you know, the Heavenly Father that does these things, you know. And this is another precept, and then I'm close this little quick sit down lesson for today. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 75, verse 7, and verse 7 in the book of Psalms and through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, But Yahweh is the judge, 
he put it down. He put up down one and set up another right. Because the Heavenly Father, he judges that people that's the rulers of this earth. Just like Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Right? Because the Heavenly Father put the uh, the wicked in, in rulership. Because that's why this uh, devil should come down with great wrath. Because he know he had but a short time. You know, because the Heavenly Father, he set up men. He set up rulers. You know? He set up righteous rulers. He set up wicked rulers because heaven follows a just balance. He take down those even wicked rulers and he set up another one. Because it's a lock in. Yeah, because the heavenly father, he does these things, you know, because the heavenly father, he's the judge of the planet Earth. He judges the righteous. He judges the wicked, you know, because the heavenly father, he's a just balance, you know, of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, you know, he the one that does these things, you know. So with that, I uh, hope this quick sit-down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Hashem El Shah, by Hashem, Bakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, and great millstone, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akin, uh, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shout out to the Akin, that be like unto the speckled bird, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom and a ball, ball.